Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How are you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing well and having a great day. In this video guys, I'm gonna be unboxing a Atom Miner AM01 FPGA. Now, this FPGA was sent to me from the Atom Miner developer himself uh, from Russia, from Mother Russia. So, <laughs> This this should be fun. This should be fun. This is this is my first FPGA I've I'm ever going to be playing around with. I've never played with FPGAs before. I don't have any experience with FPGAs. As you guys know, I'm a GPU miner by heart. So playing around with this FPGA will be definitely something new for me. Uh, so before I begin, guys, I'm going to give you a little bit of backstory on how I got it. So I made a video about the Atom Miner about a month ago, calling it uh, Atom Miner AM01 FPGA question mark 17.5 watts question mark, and the developer Atom Miner contacted me directly, and we we talked for a long time, and he seems like a really nice dude, and he decided we uh, can do a review uh, on this machine on this uh, FPGA. So. He, he went ahead and just sent me this FPGA uh, uh, all the way from Russia and uh, I just received it. So yeah, I'm really excited to do an unboxing and go through, you know, like uh, how to set it up and stuff. You can set it up either in Windows, uh, Mac OS or uh, virtual machine environment. You can use VirtualBox or VMware. So for my testing, which I'll, I'll do in another video, it will be through VMware later on. That should be pretty fun. And with all the, the claimed hash rates, uh, let's see here. Uh, just to give you guys some backstory uh, history here. It's just the Atom Miner AM01, 500 mega hash, 17 watts of power. Uh, so you can see here, ex example, a GTX 1070 will do 480 mega hash, 150 watts. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, the algorithm is Kesak or Kesak C or SHA-3. Um, so, and it can do a bunch of other uh, algorithms that I will have to figure out later on. Uh, I'll, I'll definitely make a video for you guys on which algorithms it can do. Uh, if I can get it working, I, I just, I don't have much experience with FPGA, so I'll have some fun. Let's go ahead and unbox this FPGA. So before I do that, I'm going to put my phone on this gimbal here. So uh, give me one second, guys. Alright guys, I just got my phone on my gimbal here. Alright, so let's do the unboxing of the Atom Miner AM01. This is going to be pretty fun. Okay, here we go. Alright, so we got this. Nice, nicely packed, pretty small box. Here's the, here's, the, here's the brains of it all right here. It's fully, uh, is this what you call this, shrink wrapped? As you can see, Adam Miner AM01, and we got the serial number, and uh, yeah, nice, nicely shrink wrapped. So before we open that, just let me get everything else out of the out of this box. Oh, so we got some more proper padding and stuff. Okay, so we got a USB, a USB 2.0. Look at that. So that's the connection to the computer. And what do we got here? Looks like we got, looks like we got a bracket of some sort. That will go into the computer. There, let's open it up. Uh, some brackets. It looks like, yeah, it's a to fit in a looks like a 2.5 inch hard drive bay of some sort. Uh, we'll verify that later. Uh, so now, then we got a power adapter. Look at that, guys. So this should plug in right into the wall. So one thing I just noticed is that this is meant for 240. Um, uh, Europe or Asia plugs, so I will have to figure out uh, an adapter. I'll, I'll, I'll get an adapter so that I'll be able to plug this into my uh, 110, uh, 110 power. So as you can see here, it's 2 amp. I don't know if you guys can see that. 2 amp. Okay, now uh, let's go ahead and open the Atom Miner itself, guys. Oh man, this is exciting. Let's see. Alright, so here it is, guys. Look at this thing. Whew. All right, look at that. I got a brown one. Look at this. <laughs> I know I, I saw on their Instagram, on Adam Miner's Instagram, that there was different colors. Um, so there you go. That's where you put the power. There's for the USB uh, into here and then into the computer. 
And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That looks this looks pretty cool. I uh, I, I want to open this up, guys. So it looks like it's got some security screws here and here as well. Uh, so it looks like I won't be able to open it up. Actually, I might have the bolts um, there. So let's let's go. Ahead, let's let's see if I can open it up so you guys can see what's inside. Okay guys, I found a screw bit that I can use that'll work in this, uh, thanks to my iFixit kit. Not sponsored, but uh, thank you iFixit, you guys are awesome. Okay, so let's, let's move it down here a bit, and let's go ahead and unscrew these four, it looks like it's just four bolts, so I'm just curious, I hope uh, I don't break it by opening it up, uh, I'm, gonna be, I'm gonna be super careful because uh, I have to send this back, so uh, thanks again for Adam Miner for sending me this uh, review sample. Okay, so we got all the four bolts pulled off, and now we can just take off these, I believe. Yeah, there we go. So it's just a little tiny um, brown uh, placeholder to cover this side of the uh, aluminum here. This looks. This is a definitely aluminum thing here, and we'll do the other side. And look at that. So yeah, that just holds it up. There's like a there's like a glued looks like a glued piece here. Um, yeah, interesting. Okay, so now it looks like I can just slide the FPGA out very carefully. Yeah, look at that. Okay. So it has the bracket there, there, and it sits right in between there. That's pretty cool. Okay, so very carefully. So there it is, guys. This is the Atom Miner FPGA all by itself. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to take off this heat sink, but it claims on their website, on the Atom Miner website, that this is a Xilinx chip. So specifically, um, uh, you know, like the BCU 1525s, uh, they use the same the same chip as uh, apparently uh, this. So Xilinx, there's a Z there's one Xilinx chip in here, and uh, yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. So this is what it looks like, guys. Close up. So in the coming videos, I will I will do a more in depth video on how to set it up and stuff. I'm gonna be using a computer. This is my old i7 machine. I have a 4770K in here, and you can see I have a nice beefy Noctua water uh, CPU cooler, air cooler on here, 16 gigs of RAM, MSI Z97S motherboard, and a bunch of hard drives, which I'll turn, I'm going to turn this whole thing into a VMware machine, and this will I'll use with the Atom Miner. So the Atom Miner can be utilized with uh, VMware. Uh, so since it's such low power and stuff, so I'll be playing around with that I just need to get a power supply for this machine and I'll be good to go All right guys, so that's really the end of the video. I just wanted to do an unboxing So let me go ahead and put this back up together So I'm just gonna put this back safely very very carefully it looks it's it's really it's really solid The case is really solid and it looks like it's pretty well built since it's so small, right? And uh looks like I'm putting it in wrong. So like so. There we go. And this one goes, I'm assuming, on this side. Being very, very careful guys, this is my this is my first FPGA experience, so bear 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 with me, bear with me guys. Should be a fun time. And then putting this piece back on looks pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Pretty nice, nice little design here. Again, I've never had experience with FPGAs, guys, but uh, this one looks pretty, pretty simple. Okay, so that's it, guys. Uh, here it is, the Atom Miner AM01. I will do a review of this thing later on. Um, I will I will plug it into the computer. I have to get my virtual machine up first 
and uh, then then I can then I can go ahead and start hashing with this thing. Uh, of course, I'll give you guys all the see if it's you know profitable on anything and um, see how it goes. So thanks guys for watching. Let me know what you think and if uh, any of you have this yet. So if some of you do, uh, maybe we can uh, do something together and play around with it. So if not, but thanks guys. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one and uh, peace out.